Hello friends, today we are going to solve Bakersto count problem. So here the question is, find the curve joining two fixed points so that a particle sliding along the curve under gravity takes least time, that means minimum time. Okay, suppose let us assume a particle is falling from position 1, from higher position 1 to position 2. So this is the curve suppose along this curve the particle is moving falling down to the position 2 as shown in the figure here you can see and particle is uh, traveling with uh, falling with velocity suppose v okay v and here is the x and this is y suppose uh, d has be very small element uh, this in green color you can see of the part travel by this particle of mass m suppose and this portion is x and this is y suppose and the ds is traveled by the particle in time dt okay so time taken by the particle to cover this ds is uh, suppose dt okay then velocity v is equal to we can say ds by d so hope you have got it and from this small triangle we can find ds is equal to root over dx square plus dy square on taking dx uh, common dx square common and we will get 1 plus dy by dx whole square and square root of dx square is dx so here we have got this and dy by dx whole square it can be replaced by y dot square so we can uh, denote dy by dx as y dot okay so now from the relation v is equal to ds by dt we can uh, find dt okay because we are going to find a part which takes a uh, minimum time isn't it so dt so dt equal to ds by v now so total time taken by the particle to cover the distance to to cover the curve from 1 to 2 can be obtained by integrating the above relation integration dt is equal to integration ds by v now here you see let us replace the ds by this expression uh, let us uh, replace ds by this expression root over 1 plus y dot square dx by v so we have to integrate from 1 to 2 okay so integrating it from 1 to 2 so now integration of t is uh, sorry integration of dt sorry integration of dt is t isn't it and on the right hand side we will keep the right hand side as same okay So suppose this is equation number one. Now suppose let me scroll up. So here you see from this position to two, this is suppose x. Okay, displacement be x along x axis. Uh, so here potential energy at the position when it was at rest m g x potential energy of the particle of mass m. Suppose we have considered mass is m, so that will be m g x and the kinetic energy will be half mv square as uh, the particle is moving with the velocity v so kinetic energy is half mv square then by the law of conservation of energy we get here half mv square is equal to m g x so m m will be cancelled here m is the mass of particle So m m gone. So from here we will get b is equal to root root over two g x. So b square is equal to two g x. So b will be equal to root over two g x. 
okay now use this uh, in equation number one this is supposed to now using two in one we get this uh, integration from one to two root over one plus y square by root two gx dx we get this okay now let us consider this uh, term root over one plus y dot square root over two gx as f okay consider this whole thing as a x so we will get integration f dx where f is equal to root over one plus y dot square by root over two z f for t to be minimum f must satisfy this relation euler lagrange equation so del f by del y minus this uh, d by dx of del f by del y dot is equal to zero so now del f by del y will be equal to zero as f is not function of y so it is equal to zero uh, so we know f is equal to root over one plus y dot square two z x so it is not a function of y there is y dot not only y okay so it will be zero its derivative will be zero with respect to y so now let's find del f by del y dot so here we will get del by del y dot is equal to del f is 1 plus y dot square by root 2 zx root over 2 zx so if you apply here the quotient rule that is u, derivative of u by v uh, derivative of function of this form then we know v derivative of u minus u derivative of v by v square if you apply this rule then you can differentiate it after applying the quotient rule we got this then uh, here you see uh, this is function of x so here we are differentiating with respect to y dot that's why this term will be zero and hence the whole term is will be zero so then this term will cancel this then here uh, differentiating this we will get so now we have got it then here you can see this uh, two and this two will be cancelled then we will get y dot by root over one plus y dot square root over two gx we got it okay so now what we're going to do so now our job is to put these values uh, del f by del y is equal to zero and uh, the value of del f by del y dot we will put this value in equation uh, in this equation euler lagrange equation then we will get zero minus d by dx of y dot by root over one plus y dot square two root gx is equal to zero which implies so this implies d by dx of this uh, y dot by root over one plus y dot square root over two gx is equal to zero so that means this term within bracket is constant derivative of this is equal to zero means it is constant so therefore we can write therefore we can write this De and therefore y dot by root over this one is equal to constant suppose this constant be k so we have considered the constant b squaring and simplifying we got this relation uh, sorry here is square uh, y dot square by 1 plus y dot square 2 gx is equal to k square now simplifying it we will get y dot square is equal to 1 plus y dot square whole into x k square 2 z and k square 2 z this is also constant here so that's why let me represent it by k dash okay let us use here k dash now if you simplify this relation you will get this result then this then if you multiply x on both side let us multiply it. let us multiply x on both side then what we will get so multiplying x both side we have got this so here what we're going to do uh, it can be uh, from here we can obtain y dot uh, only so let us simplify this if you simplify this equation then sorry uh, sorry let's find a y dot okay not y square uh, y dot square y dot so let us there if you find y dot then it will be x by root over x by k dash minus x square 
so y dot means dy by dx isn't it so this can be simplified as so dy by dx y dot means dy by dx so here we will get so in order to simplify we in order to integrate it we will consider here one more thing uh, this denominator here 1 by k dash will be considered as twice a then we will get twice a x minus x square so here 1 by k dash is equal to twice a okay uh, a is such a constant that 1 by k dash is equal to twice a k dash is also a constant okay so x square then dx okay so let us write here suppose suppose 1 by k dash is equal to twice a okay so uh, i will show the integration before i have made this video i have done the integration part uh, integrate how to integrate this equation i will uh, show the photo picture of that uh, paper where i have done okay uh, because I am not going to each and every step of integration because uh, being the student of physics you must know how to integrate this okay so you will understand uh, after uh, if you take a look at that picture I will show this uh, but in exam you don't have to write the integ integration part just you have to write integrate and you have to write the result if you uh, memorize the result okay so take a screenshot of this picture to know how I have done the integration okay now so integrating this uh, we have got yeah you see integrating we get this result okay i have already shown you how to integrate c is the constant of uh, integration so this is the equation of the part and now you see if the curve is uh, starting from the origin suppose uh, the higher position is at uh, 0 comma 0 that means at the origin okay position 1 is at suppose 0 comma 0 the particle is falling from 0 comma 0 the origin that means then c will be equal to 0 then this equation becomes y is equal to a cos inverse 1 minus x by a minus twice a x whole square uh, sorry x square whole to the power half plus uh, sorry nothing this is the required equation equation of the required path uh, followed by the particle while it is falling from uh, position 1 to 2 position 1 is origin in this case okay and this is the equation of inverted cycloid okay so hope you have understood this if you like my video please uh, hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends okay if you are new then subscribe the channel this is the required equation of the uh, required curve okay which represents a inverted cycloid okay so hope you have understood this thank you for watching